I want to continue the shock factor, you know? This is what I'm doing. I'm letting my dogs run in all at once before Nala and Goop can get comfortable with them. We're going to see if the reaction, how are they going to feel. It's a wave of dogs coming to shock them in a good, healthy way. I want them to depend to each other. I want to see we're not familiar to this dog, so let's just work together. Look at Nyla. She's just chill, relax. That's really good. Although Nyla is at ease around the other dogs, Goob remains aloof. Let's get Goober in it. Goob has it all backwards. He deals with the stress of these new dogs by putting distance between them. That's a territorial behavior that leads to fights when his space is invaded. So I need to eliminate his territorial mindset and coax him closer to the rest of the pack. He got tense and he went into a little bit of moving them out of the picture with the, with the bite. Just like yesterday, Goob lashed out when another dog nose into his territory. Now that I corrected him, I want to bring him closer to the pack. Instead of finding comfort by claiming territory, I want him to find it in a familiar face. Nyla, so she's adjusting way quicker than this guy so they can help each other with the tension. Look at this. Woo. That was very cute. You can see that after he wasn't allowed to lash out, Goop looked to Nyla for comfort. I'll continue to keep eye on Goop's territorial impulses, but since Nyla feeds off his energy, a calmer Goop means a calmer Nyla. This is a huge first building block on the way to recovery.